a glimpse into democracy, unraveling Morse's masterpiece. Samuel F. B. Morse's painting, The House of Representatives, created in 1822 and likely reworked in 1823, is a monumental piece that encapsulates the essence of U.S. democracy in action. The artwork is housed in the West Building, Main Floor, Gallery 62. Morse's painting is a grandiose depiction of the House of Representatives chamber, illuminated by lamplight before an evening session. The artist employs a horizontal layout to accommodate over a hundred figures gathered at desks and theatre-like boxes, under a half-domed ceiling adorned with nested ivory white square or octagonal panels within gold borders. The painting captures congressmen, staff, Supreme Court justices, press and visitors during an active session. Each individual was meticulously painted by Morse during his four-month stay in Washington. Chief Petalesharo from the Pawnee Nation is notably isolated in the visitor's gallery to our right, a poignant representation of the oppression and displacement faced by Native Americans. The room exudes grandeur with its polished columns adorned with white capitals carved with leaves and scrolls, crimson red curtains drape elegantly between these columns. A three-tiered chandelier near the center illuminates this majestic space where men are engaged in discussions or solitary reflections. Morse's attempt to glorify U.S. democracy is evident through his detailed rendering of architecture and people, however, it did not garner significant attention during its initial tour in 1823. Despite this lackluster reception at its unveiling, modern art enthusiasts can appreciate Morse's intricate detailing and symbolic representations embedded within this masterpiece. Before his fame as the primary inventor of the telegraph, Morse was an accomplished portraitist who sought historical significance through his paintings, The House of Representatives, stands as testament to his artistic prowess albeit overshadowed by his scientific achievements.